Hi everyone, welcome back to Other Levels, where we take your data skills to new heights. Today, we'll be working together to enhance and create cash flow reports for the last three years. Remember, you can purchase this template from our website at other-levels.com. Let's dive in. To make things clearer and easier to use, we'll start by reorganizing the layout. First, we'll add rules and adjust the placement of values in the spreadsheet. For a consistent and professional look, we'll use the Arial font for all spreadsheets and update the font size to improve readability. Next, we'll move the beginning balance so it sits directly under the column for January. For those of you who've purchased the template, you'll only need to enter the beginning balance manually in the designated cell. The built-in formulas will automatically calculate the values for the other months. Let's change the cell format, use whole numbers in 1000s, and remove the decimals, for consistency. Now, let's move the cash inflow and outflow columns, currently in column A, and place them above each respective section for better clarity. To calculate the total cash inflow, we'll use the SUM formula. To keep unused cells empty, we'll incorporate the IF formula to ensure no data equals an empty cell. Repeat the same process for cash outflow. Next, let's add a new column to show the sum of the cash inflow and outflow for each value across the year. Use the sum formula again and ensure the formatting matches the rest of the spreadsheet. For better visibility, let's add and highlight the year number at the top of the spreadsheet. Add the net cash flow column, which is calculated as net cash flow equals cash receipts minus cash payments. Calculate the Mondanding cash position. This equals the beginning balance plus net cash change. And there you have it a clean, professional, and easy to use cash flow report. Remember, you can buy this template from other-levels.com to save time and streamline your workflow. This is the first video tutorial in this series. The second video, where we'll explore even more advanced features, will be ready in the next few days, so stay tuned. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to learn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on other levels.